But I do want to let you know that realistically, podcasting is taking off. Podcasting is growing. I know that because I helped many podcasters launch a brand new show just over the last few months. Most hosts never achieve the results they hoped for. They're falling short on listenership and monetization, meaning their message isn't being heard and their show ends up costing them money. This podcast was created to help you grow your listenership and make money while you're at it. Get ready to take notes. Here's your host, Adam Adams. Hey, what's up, podcaster? It's your host, Adam Adams. And in this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about urgency. Urgency is the thing that lights a fire underneath your ass. If you've got a fire underneath your ass, you're going to effing move. You're going to start moving. You're going to get up and you're going to do something. So there's this guy, super successful, multi, multi, multi millionaire, several businesses. And I work with a couple of his friends who are the same. I work with a lot of people that are very highly successful. And something that I notice about these highly successful people, not all the time, sometimes they figure out what they want, they make the decision, they go do it. Like it's so easy, it's so simple. And other times they want to be frugal with their money, even if they're a multimillionaire, they want to be frugal with their money. They don't want to spend it all in one place. They want to make sure that they're going to get the value for what they're doing. And this guy, I'm going to call him Chris. Uh, that's actually his first name, but I'm not going to say his last name. This guy, his name is Chris. And all of his friends keep pointing him to me. And he's had two different conversations with me, like almost two years ago. The other one was probably close to a year, like the end of last year. So getting really approaching. And I just dropped it because he had those conversations. He had those discovery calls. And I'm not going to force anyone. I'm not going to high pressure sale anyone. And, you know, someone like Chris, he's going to make the decision when he makes the decision. And I reached out to him yesterday. And during the text messages, it was a Facebook message. I just asked him, Hey, your podcast is being really successful. And it is. I want to get your story on my podcast. And he said, he came back with basically almost a direct quote, I'd be delighted to come on the podcast. And by the way, I've been thinking about your services to grow my podcast. And here's the direct quote. Now I realize that it's an even bigger problem than I thought. Now I realize that it's an even bigger problem than I thought. So Chris reaches out after a year or two, we could have been giving him more listeners and giving him more social proof on his podcast, having more people that he could do business with. He's already a multimillionaire, but in two years, he lost out on a shit ton of listeners that could have converted into actual dollars. And in his case, this might not be the case for everybody. He charges a good price when he works with people. And so in his case, he avoided, let's just call it six grand a month. We'll just agree to disagree. He avoided around six grand a month twice, and it cost him perhaps many, many hundreds of thousands, maybe even over a million dollars over the last couple of years. And he says, now I realize that it's an even bigger problem than I thought. So I want to reach out and give that urgency to you. Yes, this is self-serving because I can support you and I'll make money too. My team will make money too. I get that. You got to understand where my heart is actually coming from. It's coming from a place of you needing to have a fire under your butt. Sometimes, some of us, we just won't make that decision to start our podcast. And because we don't get in front of those people for a year or two, we end up losing out on a lot of money. We end up having more competition than we would have if we just started now. There is about 5 million podcasts today. There's about 5 million. Of course, there's way more YouTube channels. The last I checked was 60 million. I'm sure we're pushing 100 million. I would like to pull up that number and verify it, but I am sure that it's way higher than the 60 million that I checked it out on three years ago. We just crossed 5 million podcasts that are out there. When Chris had a conversation with me two years ago, there was only around 1.8 million, which means his competition is way more than doubled, way more than doubled in his competition. So you wait and you lose out. Urgency. Light a fire up your butt and figure out what you got to do. Whether it is doing the same thing as Chris is now going to do, hire somebody to help market his podcast so that he can stop missing out on those hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. 
or whether it's you finally launching your podcast, or whether it's something about your business or your health or your family relationships or your spirituality, it doesn't matter. Urgency. That's what we're really talking about. Chris says, now I realize that it's an even bigger problem than I thought because he waited one year and then another year. And now he's freaking out because he knows that he's got to get this started, this marketing started, or else it's going to make a negative impact on his business. We've got to get in front of those other people. It's not competition. It's not like that. I'm not trying to give you a scarcity mindset, but I do want to let you know that realistically, podcasting is taking off. Podcasting is growing. I know that because I helped many podcasters launch a brand new show just over the last few months. It's how my business is staying in business being able to support people that made that decision. And if my team is helping them do their marketing as well, they're going to grow and they're going to have a lot of listeners. I'm hoping that you get that urgency. You make the decision that you need to make to get off your butt and do something. Do something that benefits you. Think of something that you've been postponing. Think of something that you could have started a year ago. You could have started six months ago. You could have started three years ago and you just have held off. It might become a problem if you don't do it right now. Urgency. I'll see you on the next episode. This is serious. Don't go. Now that you've gotten whatever value that you feel that you got, the actionable takeaways, you need to implement the stuff that you learn. If you remember me talking about bird church once and they learn how to fly and then they walk home, I don't want you to walk home. I want you to fly home. So take the steps, take the actionable steps for your benefits that you can become a better podcaster. That's the only thing that I ask of you. And I'll see you for more actionable tips on the very next episode.